Good morning everybody, Monday morning in uh, Garking, Germany. We're just off down to get rid of this car at the BMW Museum in Munich and then come back to the depot to load an old Land Rover back to the UK. And then we've got a car to deliver in Frankfurt on the way back. So let's roll the intro and let's go. I'm now waiting at the BMW Museum. I finally made it in, it wasn't too bad. I had to go to, found, found the main reception, they sent me around here. It looked a little bit like it wasn't meant to be, but you know, I'm up on the top here. There's some, some guys constructing a special platform for this car to go on. So I've got to wait for them to finish building that before we can take it off. I'll be glad to get off in the back because it's four tonne of blooming solid blooming batteries and what have you. Right, that was harder job than what we thought it was going to be. An hour and a half later, we've got it off. It's in the museum now. Uh, I'm now going to go back to our yard at Garking. I've got to pick up an old Series 1 Land Rover to get back to the UK. Right, let's get out of here before they try and ask me some more questions that I don't know anything about. Glad to see the back of that. It's a bit of a pick to start that car. It's not a normal procedure. You bit look a bit of a plum when you're trying to start it. Well, you don't actually start it. It turns on because it's battery power, isn't it? Yes, yeah, quite an impressive building. That I went up inside. It's like a spaceship from the outside. Yeah, very impressive. But I am glad to get that off my back. That was heavy. Look at this traffic out here and all. I don't have to go and sit in that lot. Barry up automatically. I wonder. Yes. Tight Especially with this truck, because it's got no blooming lock on it whatsoever. And Barry has come down behind me and I need to reverse up them. That's okay. Right. Now I've recalculate. After 300 yards, turn around when possible. Made my day a little bit harder now because um, we've still got to go to Cologne. Not Cologne. Um, anyway, we still got to get this car off in. Oh, I can't even remember where I've got to go now. Uh, da, 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 I can't remember. Anyway, never mind. Yeah, so we've. Um, Still got this car to get off in Frankfurt this afternoon, so we're, yards, turn right. we're a little bit up against it now we've been delayed so much. But anyway, so I think it's going to be Wednesday before we get back home now. At this rate. Now, turn right. Right, that's our business done in and around Munich. We're reloaded with our Series 1 Land Rover, which is all in pieces. Yeah, it was a guy who brought it down here. It was a project, and he never done anything with it, so it's going back, basically. So we're just finishing off our coffee. It's about a five-hour drive up to Frankfurt, and it's um, just under 250 miles. So we've got a little bit of work to do today. It's going to be sort of late afternoon by the time we deliver it, so we've got to have another break on the way up. It's a lovely sunny day anyway, so yeah, so all's good. Right, let's start heading north. Well, we've just had our lunch. We've driven another three hours. We're up near Warsburg on the A3. We've got another two hours to go to our delivery point. 
at Frankfurt. So we should be there ETA around about um, 20 to 4 local time. Yeah, so that's that. Jamie's been held up today as well. So, you know, none of us, we both got there on time at our bookings and nobody showed up till an hour and a half later at both places. Jamie wasn't delivering, he was getting something done on his new trailer. He had, had some wiring or something done with the remotes for it. So, I don't know, I don't get involved with it. Right, off we go to jolly old Frankfurt. Bacon sandwich we had there. What's going on here? Can you get around here? It's not very good, is it? Uh, it's not very good at all. Oh well, there we get around here. Oh God, what's this bloke standing up here? He looks a bit strange. Yeah, anyway, um, yeah, I'm not saying anything. Look at this bloke here, look, standing there. What's he come as? Hey? What the hell's he come as, look? Look at his clothes! Look at his hat! Look at his jacket! God, strange. Takes all sorts. Bowler hat. Oh well, everyone to his own. Yeah, anyway, um, the GoPro that we're on now, I've reset it all to the original settings again because when I um, put it at 30 frames per second, when I speed the footage up, I noticed that was a bit jerky and that was more annoying than the choppy um, footage when it's running normal speed. So I'd rather have the choppiness running at this speed and um, have the smooth on the speeded up. So I'm going to give it another go. Please bear with me because it is driving me out the wall. This, you know, I'd like it all to be dead smooth, dead tidy, and I don't know what I can do to um, to get it right. But I am trying my hardest. So yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah. So we've got another two hours. Just over two hours down down to uh, Frankfurt, just under 100 miles, so that shouldn't take too long. Take too long? Take two hours, won't it? What a stupid thing to say. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to crack on now. I'm waffling. miles away from our delivery point it's not actually in Frankfurt it's a place called Bad Homburg 
bit of a strange name. After 700 yards, take the next exit on the right. But yeah, we're only um, yeah, we're just about three and a half miles away from our delivery point. Hopefully, it's going to be easy to park. Um, our guys showed me on Google Maps where to park. Um, now take the next exit on the right. They say don't park in the road, otherwise the police will be on you and give you a fine. So they're a bit arrogant out here, so we don't want to wind them up, do we? Yeah, so I'm going to just put a little bit of music on and concentrate. So I will catch you in a mo. That's that delivery done. All good, everything's fine. Clean ticket, signed off well. I was told by our guys to park, see where that underground car park is. Park there, it won't, won't block the way, but you need to almost block. There's an entrance into the, to this place here. See this, this is the exit, right? And then there's one over the other side behind me. So you've got one in and one out, and you've got to sort of just leave enough room for them to get in behind you and get out in front of you but if you're too far forward they can't get out from that underground car park so i had some stroppy german coming in saying i've got to move i've got to move so just wait for my ticket to be signed and he was signing the ticket on the desk and i still had to come out and move it anyway that's that so now we've got to start heading back i think i've got a couple of hours driving left so that's what we're going to do we're going to run our time out and see how far we get. We won't get out of Germany today, I shouldn't think, but I'm going to do my damn best to get out. Right then, so off we go again. That was a um, nice easy tip, that. Not very nice being able to park there and block people's ways. I don't like that. But right, if we come just with a truck, just solo. But yeah, that was easy. Yeah, so that's this trip uh, almost done and dusted. We've just got to run back to the UK now. So I don't know when we get back, but yeah. So all's good. Say so this isn't really Frankfurt. It's this. It's sort of on the north of Frankfurt. It's a place called Bad Homburg. Strange name. They got some funny old names out here.
Right, just going to nip into Bad Camberg and uh, get some diesel. As you can see, it started snowing. All of a sudden, the temperature's dropped. It's been really mild all day, but all of a sudden, it's got cold. Just these last few miles, we've had this snow appearing. I'm hoping I'm going to get a coffee in here because this Arrow, the other side, she gave me a coffee when I dieseled up on the way up, so I'm hoping, or on the way down, so I'm hoping I can get some diesel, some diesel, I'm hoping I can get some coffee here. Right, let's go and have a look. Well, I was wrong there. You don't get coffee in all these Arrow services. No, that was just a one-off, I think. Nice pretty little girl the other side on the way down. She gave me one, but well, no, she didn't. Uh, but it was an ugly bloke this side, so I didn't get a coffee. So what I've decided to do on this driving period, I've done two hours fifty driving. It was either run on a little bit more and have a break later, or have a break now and just run the time out. I've done six and a half hours driving in total, and two hours fifty on this period. So I thought I'll have a 45, but I just hope this blasted snow doesn't really kick in, look, because it has got worse since I've stopped here. So that's the plan, just run the time out. We've only got till 8 o'clock tonight, UK time I'll run on, because we started at 5 this morning. Jamie's behind me somewhere, so he's not going to catch up because he's been delayed. Yeah, so that's the plan, just run the time out, because the closer I can get to Calais, the better chance I've got to get back to the UK tomorrow. If I hang it right back here, it just puts all the timings out. Yeah, so that's the plan. So we should be running in about half an hour and um, hopefully just just get inside Belgium and it may be easier to park there because Germany is a pain in the backside to park up. Mind you, where I'm parked here at Bad Camberg, there's loads of space, but it's a little bit too early to park for me. I need to get on a little bit further past Cologne and then just sort of dip our toe into um, Belgium. Yeah, so that's that. Right, I'm gonna finish my break, my food now and my drink, and then we're gonna get on. Ah, oh, finished at last. God, what a long day that was. I think I pushed it a little bit too far. Um, I did stop and get my my um, vignette for, for two days, which will be today and tomorrow, thinking I was gonna be in Belgium tonight. But it, uh, it was getting a little bit too close to the knuckles, so I've stayed just inside Germany, um, about 20 minutes away from Aachen, the, the, the Belgian border. I would like to have got into Belgium tonight, um, but uh, so anyway, it's not a great loss. It's only eight euros, only a fiver. Um, so yeah, so we're parked up here. I managed to find somewhere to park because everywhere is absolutely rammed. That's just normal in Germany. I think it's going to be a bit noisy here because I'm virtually. I've got a row of trucks between me and the motorway, but you can hear. I think you can, if I leave the camera there, you can see the traffic between the truck and the trailer of the one next door to me. Plus, this road outside, you get a lot of trucks going through there, so. I don't think it's going to be a very peaceful night. So I'm going to have a couple of wines now and um, do my usual thing, a little bit of editing. I don't think it's going to be a good vlog today. It, that's the trouble, when you've got a lot of driving, there's not much you can do really, because you don't want to see all the driving all day. Look. So, But anyway, that's, that's my day, you know. Some days it's in, more interesting, other days it's totally boring and, you know, same with everybody really, isn't it? You have good days and boring days and exciting days so anyway that's that so tomorrow we're gonna make it down to the train I can now take my front wheel trims off because I've um, unseized those screws um, we'll have a break on the way um, and that's it really so we should be home tomorrow night and that'll be very nice uh, so that's the end of this trip so I'll cut you loose now guys Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you tomorrow. Good night.